Hello, welcome back to another episode of What Is Fastest. Today we're doing some shoes. Some shoes. We're, it's a pretty simple one today. We're going to test three shoes. A road shoe with laces. It's an S-Works lace up. Mountain bike shoe with laces. And a set of trainers with laces. Specifically these on shoes. Um, the other test says there are no cleats on the trainers. On the lace up. Road shoes, we have aero speed play pedals, which have been drilled for lower stack height. On the mountain bike shoe, we have Garmin power meter SPD pedals. So let's see how it goes. Right, the results. This probably went exactly how you'd expect it to, but I would hesitate to guess that the results aren't quite what they may seem. And we're gonna have a test, there's gonna be another test later on, doing a lot more shoes. So this is just a snapshot of what to expect. So let's have a look at what happened. Unsurprisingly, these shoes were fastest. Also unsurprisingly, these shoes were slowest. Unsurprisingly, the difference between these and these, just in aerodynamics alone, was large, 5%. And 5% in a real world scenario, let's say the 2022 National Championships of Great Britain that Ethan Hayter won. It took me 53 minutes, 22 seconds to cover 26 miles, more or less, on a course that was closed road, slightly undulating, untechnical. If I was to wear these and these, not including the slight power output difference that there would be between the two shoes, I would be 49 seconds slower in these, this would require 15 watts to make up the difference or require me to lose 16 kilograms of mass on the day. Now, this isn't really the interesting part of the test. The interesting part of the test is the difference between these and these. And the testing conditions are 55 kilometers an hour, zero, four, and seven degrees your. Your angle is the direction to the wind you are facing. So if you are riding in a crosswind, you are experiencing your. These were faster seven degrees most of the time aerodynamics makes sense if you look at something it makes sense that one thing would be more aerodynamic than the other a formula one car is more aerodynamic than a bus those are things that you can look at and be that is obviously more aerodynamic than the other this is something where you'd look at these and go obviously this is going to be more aerodynamic than this because of all these governs underneath the fact that the pedal system alone one would think more aerodynamic than this. And the only caveat I will give to this test is the difference in stack height between the two pedals is about a centimeter. So the difference in my overall position between the mountain bike shoes and the trainers and my road shoes was quite different. Which then begs the question, what happens if I lower my saddle height with the road shoes? Like I said, the differences were small. It was less than 1% on average across the three yours, uh, less than 1% less than 10 seconds over the national time trial championships, less than four watts and less than three kilograms of mass difference. So there you have it. This is faster than this, but not by as much as you'd think. See you next time.